Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. So today I want to go over a few things that I'd like to see in Hearthstone. Now I haven't really bothered to do this kind of video, uh, even though I've played Hearthstone for you know almost a year now, really, uh, because I think Hearthstone is a pretty complete game, even in the early stages in the beta when they said it's just kind of like you know game they made on the side with a few people and whatnot. I thought it was fairly complete. I was enjoying it then. I'm really enjoying it now. The Max content. I feel the Max content is you know, exactly what the game needs. But there's still a few things on my shopping list that I would like to see in the game, and I thought if I voiced my opinion, maybe other people would like to see them as well, maybe they'd like to uh, see them in the game, and maybe, if I'm lucky enough, some people will listen. And hopefully those people have enough power to make things happen. So I'm not gonna talk about like spectator mode or any of that kind of stuff, uh, like more cards, whatever. It, Spectator mode is probably going to happen, more cards are going to be released, you know, people know that kind of stuff. And uh, along with that, you know, I think there needs to be uh, a frequency jump, but I think we will see that. I think we will see expansions like Nax come out more frequently from this point on because, well, I think it's going to make Blizzard a lot of money. And I think these ideas that I'm going to bring forward are going to do exactly that. And Blizzard is business, and if business comes, I think they will listen, and hopefully at least I'll get what I want, and hopefully it's similar to what you guys want. So, I want to see a lot of expansions like Nax. Nax is amazing, and the issue with that is when you have a lot of expansion content, it becomes uh, a game that people don't really want to get into because of the cost. So what that means is, if there's like Nax number two a month from now, Nax number three, Nax number four, someone who picks up the game five months from now, well, he has to pay like a hundred bucks to be on, you know, even field with uh, the other guys. So what I think they should do is, if not substantially uh, reduce the cost of each of these expansions, maybe the third newest expansion or something like that, when a new one comes in, uh, would be free or would cost just a small amount of gold, or, you know, perhaps uh, there could be some kind of system where your ranking on ladder on the last season gives you some kind of like purchase points, because, you know, why not? But in the end, the idea is that while uh, these type of expansions are very good, while they make Blizzard a lot of money, in the end they might be detrimental to the game, and if they're detrimental to the game, they might make Blizzard a little bit less money than they think. So. I think they need to take that into consideration and, well, I'm sure people play the game completely for free all the time and, um, you know, they want, they want this to be the case. They don't want to have to pay like every month to update their content on their client. And the other thing is, these kinds of content blocks like Nax, like whatever else may come to be, I don't feel they were appropriately timed with the latter. Like, uh, you know, the season has been going on for several weeks now, and, you know, they dropped Nax, and Nax is an in incremental thing, uh, which is kind of cool. So it affects the end of this season and the start of the next one, and that's kind of strange. And something I think they should really think about doing is perhaps having one of these Nax like content blocks. Maybe not... Uh, every season, but certainly at the start of one, so people who are really good, really in tune with how to make decks from them, and to adapt to the changes as the weeks go by, are very appropriately uh, shown within that specific ladder. So if someone knows exactly how the next card works, and you know, they put the effort, they put the time in perfecting the deck into you know, playing the games, doing the grindy work, but you know, having something to really show for it, they can, you know, really say that, you know, mastered next, and not so much like season four, season five, season six, where these rewards are really, you know, if you get like first or second or whatever, you're invited to BlizzCon, which is nice, but there's not always going to be a BlizzCon, it's not really going to work this way all the time, so, yeah, I think they need a little bit more incentive, and I think they need to line it up a little bit better. So that's what Constructed, and there are some arena improvements that I'd like to see. Now, I love the fluff in the game, and this is pretty strange because in most games uh, it doesn't really appeal to me, but in Hearthstone, 
I love golden cards and I really want some golden heroes and all that kind of stuff, but I get really bored in constructed. I understand that a lot of people, most people in fact, enjoy constructed play, so I'm not here to criticize that. I just want the same opportunities in arena. I want to be able to have my wins in arena count towards, oh, I don't know, the 500 win achievement for my golden hero. And once I have a golden hero, I want people to be able to see it in arena. I mean, you know, what's the big deal? And if you think about that, um, if people who like Arena have a slightly better incentive to play, play Arena, Blizzard is going to make more money from that because as it turns out, most people aren't very good at Arena. So those people aren't very good at Arena, well, they're going to give Blizzard a bunch of 199s pretty frequently if they're into it. So if Blizzard makes money, shiny stuff in Arena, who's not happy in that situation? And to further that, what I think would be pretty cool is, because when you play Arena, you get a lot of dust, you get a lot of golden cards, you don't really get to see them very frequently. Yeah, I play Constructed a little bit, I see my golden collection, and okay, I like that aspect of the game enough. But what would be really cool, what would make me very happy, is to see my golden collection show up in Arena. I mean, it doesn't seem like a very hard thing to do. If you own the golden version of a card and you draft it in Arena, why isn't it automatically golden? Why don't you have a complete golden set in Arena so you can show off to your opponent and then he'll be jealous and then he's going to want to spend money on packs and then Blizzard makes money and then, well, the only one who loses is the person who spent money on packs, which, I mean, that's ultimately going to be the case anyway. And, well, best of all, I get what I want. Which is nice. Another thing that I think is pretty cool is the environments in Hearthstone. Um, they're interactive, they're cool, and it seems like um, you know there's going to be new ones. With, with the way that you play Max in the campaign, they have all these little things that you can change, just like the other environments, which is pretty cool. And I always you know, break everything and change anything in the environment that I can, just because, I don't know, it's fun. But what I think would be cool is if the vi environment was not only... Um, you know, one player's environment, if the environment was shared and you could break and shoot stuff and you had this other kind of fluffy way to interact with your opponent besides spamming emotes. I mean, yeah, it's not that much. It's not like game-changing or anything. But I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty cool to, uh, you know, mess around and break your opponent's signs and ring that fucking church bell whole bunch of times on his turn, again and again and again and again and again. Yeah. And of course, the last thing on my list is multi-client support. And I think the reason multi-client support is really good is, well, on your opponent's turn in Hearthstone, if you've played enough of Hearthstone, it's sometimes and, well, quite often pretty boring. And to get aside this, well, if you play two clients at once, while your opponent may have to wait a little bit more for you than you otherwise would, you are always actively playing the game which is really great, and I encourage you guys to try it, and I understand it's a little bit of a mess to set up, and it's a little bit whatever, but it's really, really fun. At least I find it so. And what's not fun is setting it up and making it work and all the rest, and I think if Blizzard made it easy for people to do this, if they had just like the option of when you change region, you could just launch another Hearthstone, what would end up being the case is um, they would sell a lot more cards. I mean, imagine if some guy on his American account spent like a couple hundred bucks to get all the cards, and now, you know, he wants to play two clients at once, well, he's gonna spend another couple hundred bucks to play it on Europe. So essentially, you increase the player base um, by doing pretty much absolutely nothing. And, well, you make a lot of money in the meantime as well. So, yeah, cool. I'd really like to see this stuff, I mean, Again, I think Hearthstone's a good enough game already, but um, I am a little bit jelly jelly of people in their golden portraits, and I'd like to see golden cards, and I'd like to interact with my opponents a little bit more, and I'd like it to be a little bit easy to do what I do, and, well, I'd like to see it all happen. If you guys enjoyed it, spread the word, bring out your own ideas, I'm curious what people come up with, and hopefully it's a great game can become even better. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you later.